Hey guys, welcome to the service now word and today we'll discuss how to make attachment mandatory for particular catalog item in service now. Sometimes we have get the requirement like where like we have the catalog item and for the catalog item we have to make sure like uh, once the attachment is there then only that user is able to submit the request. Otherwise it will throw some error. So that kind of requirement how to fulfill that that we'll see today and this is very important from the development perspective as well as from the interview perspective because in nowadays like in most of the interviews they are asking this question right so without any delay let's see today's use case and use case is in catalog item standard laptop make sure attachment should be there before catalog request submission means in there are some catalog item will be there their name should be a standard laptop so whenever is whenever a user submit the catalog item request the standard laptop then they we have to make sure like attachment should be there okay so let's go to the instance and try to implement it so now we are in our instance and firstly let's open the catalog item standard laptop we'll go to the maintain items and uh, here you will see that standard laptop right just click on it yes so let me open in uh, one more duplicate tab so we'll see what will be the front end of this like how this catalog item will be look like for the user so we have opened the duplicate tab we just click on try it so currently you see like we get further from the user's perspective this catalog item looks like this so if we currently submit it let's say we'll submit like this if we are not able to attach anything we are able to submit it right just click on order now you see that we are able to submit it but the requirement is that like whenever a caller submit the standard laptop request we have to make sure that attachment should be there right so that kind of requirement will go to implement it so if you see one thing here so for implementing this kind of scenario like uh, what you have noticed like on submission of this on submission of this catalog item request we have to make sure that attachment should be there or not so we have to for that we have to write a uh, uh, on submit client script okay so let me open we just go down you see that catalog client script tab right just click on new so if you see here currently we have opened the new catalog client script form so here we have to put the name name like uh, check attachments and select the ui type ui type look will be as, as it is only and type will select on submit because the requirement is that on submission of catalog item we have to check whether the attachment is there or not and if you know like uh, whatever the attachments we are going to attach in the any of the record that will get stored in a separate table that table is called sys attachment table so we have to check in that table whether the attachment is there or not right so here if you see like we have to glide a different table we query a different table that is sys attachment and that is and for that we need to use a glide record a glide record api and glide record api is a server side api so for calling the server side api to the client side side we have to write a script include like whatever the server side logic is there that will write in the script include and that will call in the catalog client uh, in, in in the client side using the glide ajax api okay so let me create a script include as well okay <clears throat> now click on new so i'm just thinking like before writing the client script logic let's first complete the uh, logic of the uh, server side right so that we are going to write in a script include so i'll just give the name of the script include that is attachment underscore check and we have to call this script include in a client side so we'll just check this as client callable and here we have to create one function so function will be function name will be like uh, attachment 
validate okay and here we'll open the function body okay so now we'll create one variable that is cart id and this cart id will get from the client side how we'll get it so when when we write the client script logic that time we'll see okay so for just timing you just say like in this variable cart id will return the cart uh, cart sys id which we'll getting from the uh, client uh, from the client script okay so i'll just write this dot get parameter here like sys perm underscore id okay and here just our usual glide record so we are where gr equal to new glide record and the table names attachment table name is sys attachment sys underscore attachment then gr dot add query so the data filter will be like that table sys id table sys id table sys id is the field which are in a which present in a sys attachment table and which table sys id is the like record sys id sys id where attachment is attached okay so that is the that where we are storing the table sys id in in the table sys id we are recording the uh, storing the uh, record sys id where our actually attachment is attached okay so here i'll write card underscore id maybe if you are not able to don't worry once i'll finish my code then i'll explain you line by line i'll explain you like why i've written like this so that's it so if in sys attachment table attachment is not found so i'll write gr dot next okay if gr dot next then return false so why it's giving me error because we haven't put comma here so this it's a syntactical error so now it looks good for the timing uh, from the server side it looks good so let me save it now so i'll just put the role itio yes so we have done with the server side code now come to the client side okay so in client side if you if you remember like in server side we are sending one uh, value from client side that is cart id so how will get this cart id right that's the question so if we'll write here like where cart id g underscore form dot get parameter and sys per underscore item underscore guid okay so what this function exactly do so it will return the cart id so if you want to check i'll give you the simple way to check so it will like uh, whenever we attach the record in a, in a cart but we haven't submitted the form okay so in that time what will happen like this uh, like service now automatically creates a entry in the sys attachment table and the table name will be the uh, the table name will be sc underscore cart underscore item and it will attach to that uh, this sys id of the cart so let me copy this function and if i come here let me try it and uh, if I open duplicate tab here, and I'll open this attachment table. So 
so currently i am on a sys attachment table so if i attach anything here right i will not submit it right i'll just attach it let me attach this okay so if we'll attach this if you see here we haven't submitted the catalog item request form you see that like system created a temporary entry on this so if we not submit the risk request form what will happen it will get automatically deleted and you see this table sys id right so this table sys id is the card id card card sys id okay so it's like a i'll give you if i press control shift j i'll close this one and paste our method here i'll write where well equal to and if i alert val if i run this code you will see one getting one sys id so this is the cart id f8257 if you check here that same we are getting f8257 so by using this function we'll get the cart id okay so that cart id we have used in our client script okay so now what we need to do we have to call the script include for so for calling script include we have to uh, use glide ajax api so i'll write where ga equal to new glide ajax and here we have to uh, pass the script include name so script include name will be attachment check right yes so i'll just copy it from here and i'll just paste it attachment check and here we have to call the function so for calling the function we have to write sysperm underscore name and which function we have to we have to pass here function name so what will be the function name function name is attachment validate don't worry i'll explain you the code if you not able to understand this point of time not a problem once we have called the function we have we, we are passing one parameter in the script include right to the script include that is sysperm id right so that we are passing that cart id so we have to write sysperm sysperm underscore id okay and what we are passing in this we are passing cart id okay now we are done with that and here we have to write ga dot get xml weight many may many may of you ask like why write why use the get xml weight why not use get xml or get xml answer because get xml answer and get xml both are asynchronous words asynchronous method where like server does uh, where like client doesn't a client doesn't wait for server response but we need to wait for server response like whatever the response we are getting from this script include we need to wait for the based upon that we need to execute the further code right so that's why we have used the get xml wait then we have to create one more variable where answer equal to ga get answer so what answer like what response we have get so that response will get it here okay now once we done with that we have to put a condition like if answer equal to equal to false what exactly we have to do so we have to cancel the form submission right so for cancelling the form submission we have to just return it false so this is also like a very common interview question like where like you will ask like if you want to can can you write a script where we have to cancel the form submission so you just simply 
like return false the form the form submission will cancel okay and we have to also uh, pass one message as well like g underscore form dot and it's it will be error message right so i'll just write g underscore form dot error message like please add attachment attachment before submitting submitting request so that's it we are good with the code now so let me save it so now we are done with the code will like server side with this is the server, uh, client side and this is the server side okay so now we'll check now now come to the validation part so let's let me refresh this again and i'm not going to attach anything like i'm not going to attach any attachment here and let's see we are able to submit the form or not we are submit the request or not not form it's a request right so just click on order now and exactly if you see we are getting error please add attachment before submitting the request okay so now this time let me attach one attachment like anything l might be uh, this jpg file yes and just click on order new so exactly if you see we are able to submit the catalog item request right means our code is uh, working absolutely fine so let me explain you once again what exactly we have did okay so the request is that like in a standard laptop catalog item if any user submit a standard laptop request we have to make sure that attachment should be there okay so we know like before some uh, before submission we have to validate it so that's why we have write on submit client script okay now we know that like uh, whatever the attachments we are attaching that get stored in uh, one of the table that is called sys attachment table so we have came and we know that like we have if we want to query that sys attachment table we have to write the server side code so that's why we have write a script include and this script include we have created one method that is attachment variable and there we have get this cart id from the client side okay and then we have used the glide record glide record api and querying the sys attachment table and then table sys id is the like uh, record where our attachment is actually attached so in this case like uh, attachment is attached on the cart so that's why we have comparing the table sys id with the cart id and then we have queried it so logic is if you see here logic is uh, uh, little bit reverse here right if record is not found in this table if attachment is not there in this table that's why you see we have put not here now then we have to return false okay now come to the uh, this client script so here by using this method we are getting the cart id okay and this is like where we use the glide ajax glide ajax we are using for calling any script include sysperm name we have used for calling a method in that script include and sysperm id for sending for passing the id cart id from client side to the server side and then we have used the get xml wait because it's a synchronous method we are client wait for server response so we need to wait for server response we have to wait whether the attachment is there or not then only we have to proceed with further so once we have got whatever the response is there that we are storing in this variable answer and if the answer is false means if we returning false then we have to print the error message and we have to return false if you put return return false then the uh, the form submission will get cancelled so i hope you got it you have to just go through the code it's a very simple one so i hope you got it and if you still have any doubt please write in the comment box if you have any feedback as well you can write in the comment box and till that time thank you god bless you all